Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. This week we're talking about the Divine Mercy Chaplet again. Uh, I wanted to bring up some facts about the Divine Mercy Chaplet. If um, you want to know more about the Divine Mercy Chaplet, I have a few other videos on Divine Mercy uh, that talks about the Chaplet and talks about the origins of uh, the prayer and that it came from Jesus Christ in an apparition to Maria Faustina Kowalska who since then has become a saint. So two healing miracles happened uh, from her after her death, and uh, and so she be, she was canonized. And so this devotion came from her, or from Jesus through her, and by uh, its recitation, uh, Christ will have um, mercy on people in the hour of their death. So this is really important because St. Faustina wrote a diary and in the diary Jesus and her are interacting with each other and he's telling her certain things about the chaplet about the image of the Divine Mercy and about its substance and meaning um, of what's behind it he told her that it will be a sign for the end times he also told her that even if the most hardened sinner prayed this chaplet only one time in their entire life that he would have mercy on them in the hour of their judgment. That is powerful and a powerful promise. The fact that it's a sign for the end times and the fact that all someone has to do is pray it at least once um, really makes me think that this is a form of superseding the Ark of Noah. So let's say that praying this one time will put you in that group of people that prayed it at least once and because you did he can look back into your life and see if you prayed it at least one time and he'll have mercy on you in that hour of judgment. So there are a few things that I find interesting about this chaplet. The fact is is that Jesus appeared to Maria Faustina Kowalska. She was a nun in Poland and she was Catholic and she prays the rosary. The thing about the rosary is, is that it's a devotion to the Virgin Mary. So the only way someone's going to pray this is if they love the Virgin Mary or at least come around to the idea that praying the rosary is, is honoring her and respecting her and I find it interesting that Christ gave us a chaplet by the use of this rosary of the rosary in praying this prayer another thing I find interesting is that in praying the chaplet is the Apostles Creed the Apostles Creed is a profession of faith in the Creed there are two specific professions I believe in the Holy Catholic Church and the communion of saints. If someone is a Christian and they don't believe in those things, they, they may or may not pray this chaplet. So I think, it's my opinion, that Christ gave us this chaplet by means of his church that he founded, the Catholic Church through Maria Faustina Kowalska because she was Catholic and because she prayed the rosary and the rosary is a devotion to his mother so you must at least accept her and honor her as his mother and yours because well we are one body of Christ and she gave birth to Christ so she's our spiritual mother too I believe that that this chaplet is intended for people who are possibly fallen away Catholics, they haven't been to church in a long time, people that have given up on the faith, people that have stopped going, but they may have been praying, prayed the rosary when they were younger, and they just maybe not even go to church anymore. Or for anybody, anybody who's willing to trust Jesus and believe that, that he gave us a fountain of grace, a fountain of mercy by Maria Faustina Kowalska, and through that fountain of grace, if one picks up a rosary honoring his mother and respecting her for who she is and praying the rosary that she gave us 
by the recitation of this chaplet and confessing with their mouth that they believe in the Holy Catholic Church and the communion of saints, then this promise that he gave to Maria Faustina Kowalska to whoever would pray it would come true. But if someone doesn't believe in that, they won't pray it. So I find it bittersweet. Um, I find it bittersweet. So I hope that all of you will pick up the Divine Mercy Chaplet and a rosary and pray it at least once in your lifetime. Even if you don't go to church, which you should go to church, you should go to Mass, you should receive the Eucharist, you should receive the sacraments. But if you're not ready for all that, just pray this chaplet one time in your entire life. At least once. I'm not asking you to do anything else except for that. Thanks again for watching The Upper Room. I'm Jared. I'll see you again next week.